My quick take on this, maybe not so quick, because this is a brutal, devastating story. Look, first, as any common sense person knows, the Letitia James, Arthur Engeron ruling against former President Trump was nothing more than political persecution. And as Byron York wrote today, and Byron's going to be with us in just a few moments, the New York State Attorney General James has been campaigning for years to bring financial and political ruin on President Trump. Hear some of it for yourself. No one is above the law, including this illegitimate president. And so, I look forward. I look forward to going into the office of Attorney General every day, suing him, defending your rights. By the way, why isn't that fomenting insurrection? This, by the way, was back in 2018. And uh, James found her cat's paw in this Judge Engeron, who was basically a Democratic clubhouse politician in New York. That's all he is. Meanwhile, regarding the facts of the case, there were no victims, no damages, no consumer complaints. There were satisfied banks and other lenders who made a ton of money doing business with the Trump organization. Mr. Trump hired tens of thousands of people and paid over $300 million in taxes to the city and state of New York over time. And he virtually changed the skyline of the city. He once rebuilt what's the, called the Woolman Skating Rink in Central Park. New York politicians had spent years failing to do it. And then Mr. Trump gave great happiness to parents and their kids all over the city in the process. But as these left-wing Democrats weaponize their arsenal of judicial power, they have imposed draconian conditions even on President Trump's appeal process. As a non-lawyer, my understanding is, in order to get to the New York appellate court, appellate court, Mr. Trump must post some kind of guaranteed surety bond in order to cover payment if the trial judgment was ever affirmed. Now, stay with me on this, folks. This would be a bond secured with collateral. Collateral could be cash, letters of credit from banks, or other investment-type assets, including real estate. Essentially, bear, stay with me on this, one party has to guarantee another party's obligation to a third party, making this potentially even more difficult. In other words, one party has to guarantee Mr. Trump's obligation to the satisfaction of the court in order to get it into the Court of Appeals. The Engeron decision, by the way, bans any borrowing from New York banks. That makes it even tougher. I don't know if that allows insurance companies or not to guarantee the bond. I just don't know. The sum total here could be up to 400 million bucks, including interest. And then presumably, the money for the bond will be deposited to the court and held in escrow pending the actual appeal. All right. These hyperpunitive conditions reveal again the nature of the political prosecution and persecution the New York Democrats are inflicting on Trump. There is no proportionality to what this weaponized court has done. That's why eminent jurist Jonathan Turley has called this whole process insidious. Where exactly did this number, 355 million plus another 100 million for interest rates, where did it come from? Nobody knows. It's arbitrary. It could have well come from the White House. It could have well come from the Oval Office, where Biden and his cronies would love to throw Trump in jail for 700 years, take his way as businesses, rob him of all his money. They would love to do this. Political prosecution, Soviet style, is what this really is. Of course, the decision like this will deter or prevent businesses from coming into New York City or state. I know that. This will stop people from coming here. That's an easy one. But where's the free choice? Where is President Trump's free choice? Where is President Trump's freedom? Freedom to start a business. Freedom to run a business. Freedom to succeed in business. Freedom to spread prosperity everywhere he goes. And where is President Trump's right to free speech, his First Amendment rights? Where is Donald Trump's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? 
Certainly not in the Letitia James, Arthur Engeron courtroom. Ever. And that's my riff. All right.